So you want to make a GIF, huh? Well, I'm gonna show you several ways you can make them on your phone or your computer. And if you don't have Photoshop, no worries. Okay, let's, let's get this out of the way. So it's spelled G-I-F. For decades, people, including me, have always said GIF, but the creators who made it have called it GIF, like the peanut butter. By the way, Jiffy peanut butter was the peanut butter of the Holland household growing up, delicious product, support it fully, but I'm not gonna say it because I'm gonna call it a GIF because otherwise my brain will just like explode and you don't want that. <laughs> so back to normal viewing. Now that that is out of the way, let us make a GIF. I'm gonna show you four different ways you can make them on your phone and or your computer. My go-to way is a website called EasyGIF. That's the letter E, Z, G, I, F, dot com. You know, you could do this on your phone, but I'm gonna use a computer here just cause it's a little faster and you can probably see it bigger on this video. There are a ton of tools on this website, but I wanna create a GIF from a video. So I click on the video to GIF button, I select the video file I want and then upload it. Pro tip, so make sure you pick something short, like two to four seconds, definitely no more than 10 seconds. The shorter the better. And if you can, you can edit the video before you upload it. And if you can't, you can edit it after you upload it using Easy Gifts tools. Once your video is uploaded, you can adjust the length, the quality, and the frame rate. All of these will affect the GIF, making it a larger or smaller file. When you're ready, click Convert to GIF and enjoy the patient kitty cat animation as your video is turned into a GIF file. Now, if you're happy with your GIF, hit save. You're done, that's it. Seriously, that easy. Pro tip. All right, if you're on your phone after hitting save, long press on the GIF file to actually save it to your phone's photo or gallery. Hey, if you wanna make adjustments to the size of the file of your GIF, you can just scroll right back up, change the parameters, and hit convert again. I find a five to seven megabyte file size is the sweet spot. Next, you can customize your GIF. Crop it, resize it, rotate it, add effects. I like this because you can change the color, the background, as well as add filters. You're adding a filter, right? Because otherwise. This looks stupid. Of course, you don't have to do any of this. Leave it natural. We could also add overlays and text. In the text feature, it will show you each and every frame of the GIF so you can time your text to pop at the right time. Pro tip. So you don't have to copy and paste text on every frame when you're using Easy GIF. Once you add it to one frame, it will automatically appear on the rest of the frames. Once you're happy with the results, hit save and bam, you have yourself a GIF, man. I like Easy GIF a lot. But depending on your phone, you have a couple other ways you can make a GIF. Another way is using a GIF app. If you go to the App Store or Google Play Store, you're gonna find a ton of these, but the one I like is Giphy. G-I-P-H-Y, because it's awesome. Open the app, tap on the plus sign on the bottom, and you can either record something from scratch or use an existing video from your phone. I'm going to select a video. I could trim it down or even add stickers. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fun. When you're done, tap the purple arrow. Now, once the GIF is created, you can upload it for anyone to use via the Giphy app or tap on share GIF. This brings you to a screen that lets you save it to your phone or send it to a friend. For you Samsung owners out there, if you have a Galaxy S8 or newer, you can make a GIF using the Edge panel. That's right, no apps. If you don't know how to use it, to enable the edge panel, look for the little tab on the right side and slide your finger from the right edge to the left. You'll see a panel open up. To customize it, tap on the settings icon on the bottom left side. Then a bunch of panel customizations will appear. Check Smart Select. Basically, the GIF animation feature is almost always available via the edge panel, meaning you can record whatever's on the screen. Hey, so here's a video I shot of a coffee cup this morning. I know, not exciting, but I'm gonna open up the edge panel, 
tap on the animation button and now a GIF capture window appears on the screen. To record the part of the screen you want, resize the GIF capture window and then hit record. Now, while the screen is recording, you are locked out of navigating your phone, but once you have what you need, hit stop. Then you can share your GIF right away or save it to the gallery. If you have an iPhone, besides using an app, there are ways to record a GIF, but they are wonky. Yes, I said wonky. Oh, damn. Don't be fooled by Apple's live photos, looped animations. They don't make a GIF, they make a video file, despite what the internet says. Hey, but thanks to Apple's Shortcuts app, <laughs> admit you didn't know you had it on your phone. It's okay, I didn't either, but there is an app called Shortcuts and it will help you make a GIF on your iPhone. Open up the app and on the bottom right, tap the gallery button. And then welcome to Shortcut Land. Na, 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 na. Oop, oop, stop, stop. We don't wanna have to pay royalties for that park-like adventure music. Gallery has a bunch of pre-built shortcuts you can install. Once you have it, tap on the video to give shortcut and follow the prompt. Bro, tap. Tapping on the three dots on the top right-hand corner of the shortcut reveals a behind-the-scenes view of the shortcut's recipe. <laughs> After you tap on the video to give shortcut, it will prompt you to choose a video, though it calls it an image. Now tap on the one you want, then you can trim the video, then hit save. But to quote the band's Journey and Queen, don't stop because your GIF is actually not saved. To do that, go to the top right hand corner and tap on the share button. From there, you can save the GIF to your phone or send it to a friend. So those are some of my favorite ways to make a GIF. I know there are tons of others, and if you want, share them in the comments. Also, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Otherwise, for more how-to content, hit subscribe. Patrick, GIF out!